This episode is brought to you by Magellan TV. We really have been enjoying our Magellan TV subscription, and we hope you have too. We're excited to announce that Magellan TV is now offering a buy one, get one free gift card for the people in your life that you want to give the gift of knowledge to. If you go to our page in the description, there will be a banner to take advantage of this limited offer to our YouTube viewers. Purchasing a gift card at any time of the year will also give you an additional month of Magellan TV for free, even if you're already a member. So now is the time to try it and share it with your friends and family, if you haven't already. If you're already a member, here's our documentary recommendation, Combat Machines. The show is great for military vehicles and weapon buffs. Check out this episode on the Vietnam War for an analysis of the vehicles used by the Viet Cong to move along the Ho Chi Minh Trail and the American combat machines used to stop them. For those that haven't subscribed yet, Magellan TV is a documentary streaming membership service founded by filmmakers and bringing you premium content, diving deep into the subjects you want to learn more about. Magellan TV has the richest and most varied content on history available anywhere. Magellan TV has over 3,000 documentary movies, series, and exclusive playlists, many available in 4K. They have ancient, modern, current, early modern, war and biographical history, science, space, and even true crime, which can be watched anywhere on your television, laptop, or mobile device. All the shows are without interruptions from commercials, and we have a special offer where you can check it all out for free. Simple History viewers get a one-month free trial membership. Just go to try.magellantv.com slash simple history, or click the link in the description below, and you can check out our documentary recommendation, Combat Machines, for free. Taking a mortar to the leg, this Marine kept fighting. John P. Bobo, 1967, the Vietnam War. John Bobo was not someone who was content with sitting at home, waiting to be drafted. He desired to serve his country without being asked. Born on February 14, 1943, in Niagara Falls, New York, John was an exemplary young man and it would be his unflinching resolve that made him stand out and ultimately made him a hero. While still a student at Niagara University, John Bobo enlisted in the Marine Corps Reserve. Once he completed his studies with a degree in history, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant. He didn't spend one day in the profession for which he studied. After receiving his commission, he immediately went to Quantico, Virginia for the Marine Corps basic training and officer candidate course. In June 1966, after the course was finished, Bobo was assigned to the 3rd Battalion, 9th Marines, 3rd Marine Division. That same month, along with the rest of his unit, he was deployed to Vietnam. John Bobo's unit was one of four battalions engaged in Operation Prairie 3 from March 19th until April 19th, 1967. The operation was conducted in order to eliminate the NVA presence in the Quang Chi province, south of the demilitarized zone. The increasing activity of the North Vietnamese was becoming a growing concern, so the U.S. Marines were sent to patrol the region in search of them. In the opening phase of the operation, they experienced only light contact with the enemy, but the situation changed after just a few days. Soon, the Marine patrols would find themselves severely hampered by heavy attacks, followed by intense mortar shelling. On March 30, 1967, India Company of the 3rd Battalion, 9th Marines, was on patrol six miles northwest of the Kamlo combat base. Their mission was to establish platoon ambush positions from which they would conduct surprise attacks on enemy units. Just as the 1st and 3rd platoons had established their ambushed positions, the NVA attacked the company command group and the 2nd platoon under the cover of night. Even though the North Vietnamese prevented the 1st and 3rd platoons from returning to help their comrades, the first attack was repelled by the U.S. troops. The second assault was more devastating, however. The NVA attacked with full company strength, followed by mortar fire. John Bobo, as a commander of the 2nd platoon, organized his men into a defensive position. Even though they were outnumbered, he jumped from one position to another, encouraging his men to keep fighting. If they gave way, the entire command post would have been overrun. Bobo and his men fought as if there was no tomorrow, and he was determined to throw everything he had at the enemy. At one point, he even picked up a rocket launcher from a dead soldier to use it against the enemy machine guns. While he was running between positions, a mortar shell suddenly exploded near him. It didn't kill him, but inflicted a massive injury to his right leg below the knee. The platoon's medic rushed to evacuate him, but received a stiff rejection. Not only did Bobo refuse to leave the combat area, 
but he insisted that the medic help him to place himself in a firing position to provide cover for the rest of the group and allow them to move to a better position to engage the enemy. He needed to stop the heavy bleeding from his leg, so he used his web belt as a tourniquet and kneeled so that he could press his injured leg into the ground. With his lower leg torn apart, John Bobo continued to fight off the enemy from his position for some time, until he was mortally wounded by enemy fire. His unshakable courage in the face of the enemy helped the rest of the unit reach a protective position, from which they managed to repel the attack with the help of helicopter gunships. The battle ended with 16 Marines killed and 47 wounded. Once the firing stopped, the Marines evacuated to their combat base, carrying along the dead body of their second lieutenant, John Bobo. His body was later returned to the United States and buried in the Gate of Heaven Cemetery in Lewiston, New York. For his bravery shown in combat on March 30, 1967, John Bobo was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor. It was not the only award he received for his service. In addition to the Medal of Honor, he also received a Purple Heart Medal, a Combat Action Ribbon, and two medals awarded to him by the South Vietnamese government, the National Order of Vietnam Medal, and the RVN Gallantry Cross Medal. Because of John Bobo's dauntless courage and bravery, his men lived to fight another day. As noted in his Medal of Honor citation, his bold initiative reflected the highest traditions of the Marine Corps.